Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question four from the Manhattan Math Olympiad 2003. Prove that from any set of 100 different whole numbers, one can choose either one number which is divisible by 100 or several numbers whose sum is divisible by 100. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, try proving the problem by contradiction. It will also be very useful to consider the sums and the numbers in modulo 100. Hint number two, try considering 100 subsets of the 100 whole numbers. Can you deduce anything about these subsets by using the pigeonhole principle? Hint number three. By pigeonhole principle, we can find two subsets whose sums will be the same modulo 100. This is because there are 99 options for the sums of each subset since they cannot be congruent to zero modulo 100. Hint number four. The difference between the sums of these two subsets will be a multiple of 100 since it will be congruent to zero modulo 100. Solution. We will prove the problem by contradiction. Let A1, A2, A3, A100 be the 100 whole numbers. Now consider the following 100 sets. A1, A1, A2, A1, A2, A3, all the way to A1, A2, A3, a hundred. There are 99 possible options for the sum of each subset in modulo 100 because they cannot be congruent to zero modulo 100. Now, because there are 100 sets, add 99 possible options for the sum of each set. By pigeonhole principle, there must exist two subsets with an equal sum in modulo 100. Let these two subsets be A1, A2, A3, AI, and A1, A2, A3, AJ. Then A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus AI will be congruent to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus AJ modulo 100. Now, without loss of generality, we can have J being greater than I. Then the difference between the sums of these two subsets will be congruent to zero modulo 100. And we can simplify this expression to reach a i plus one plus a i plus two plus a i plus three plus a j being congruent to zero modulo 100. And now we reach a contradiction because this in itself is a subset. And so we can always find either one number which is divisible by 100 or several numbers whose sum is divisible by 100. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.